Hello and welcome to Get Creative in the Kitchen. Today's recipe is an easy no fuss beef curry that's absolutely delicious and I'm sure you're going to love this recipe. So stick around to the end and let's get straight into it. Let's start making this delicious beef curry. The oil goes in and let that heat up. Once your oil's heated up, your whole spices go in. I have got clove, cinnamon and cardamom. Gonna stir that through for a few seconds or till it releases its aroma. Our onions go in next. We're gonna saute our onions till they turn a nice deep golden brown. Our onions are caramelized nicely on the edges. Turn a nice color. So next goes in our ginger and garlic paste. this through till it releases its aroma and it's now time for the beef to go in. So we're going to mix this beef through with the ginger and garlic and onions and brown it nicely. I'm going to add my salt to your taste. Mix that through. Now take your time to brown your meat here. The more you brown it, the nicer it will taste. Now my meat has released a bit of water. So I'm going to keep this, keep stirring this till all this water dries up and I can really brown my meat up. Okay, so don't skip this process. If it releases a bit of water, turn the heat up high and really brown that. So this might take another 10 minutes. Okay, so my meat has been just sauteing for about 15 minutes. I wanted to dry up all the juices that my meat had released. So it's all dried up now and it's time for me to add my dry spices. So do not skip that process. So in goes my coriander, my cumin, turmeric, Kashmiri chilies to add color or you can add paprika and I'm going to stir this through. Mmm, that smells good. Mix that through nicely. Now as you can see my curry has changed color but also the oil has come to the surface. It's completely dry and the oil is releasing, so this is going to taste good. So don't skip this process, make sure you take your time. Okay, I'm happy with that. So my tomatoes go in next. Green chilies to your taste, mix that through. Okay, this is looking good. So I'm going to add some water and now cook my meat. I'm using my pressure cooker to cook it. But if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can just put your lid on and cook it for 40 or 45 minutes, however long it takes you to cook your beef. So let's check on our meat. That's looking good and smells delicious. Okay, so my meat is tender. I'm going to add my garam masala now. Mix that through. Yummy. All right, so now you can leave this as it is. Or I am adding potatoes to this curry. We love potatoes in our house. Let's mix that through. I'm going to add a bit of water to cook those potatoes. OK. 
Okay, I want a nice thick gravy in the end. Look at that, that's going to be good. I think I need a bit more water. Okay, so these potatoes might take about 10 minutes. I'm not going to pressure cook it, I'm just going to put the lid on and cook it till the potatoes are done. So see you in about 10. Let's check on those potatoes. Mm, it's looking good. Okay. That's got a beautiful, rich, thick gravy. And let's check on my potato. Yep, that's cooked. Lovely. So I'm going to just finish that off with some lovely coriander. Mix that through. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I will leave a link to all my other beef curries in the description below. See you in the next video.